Hello everyone. So this video is about two terms that are associated with the grooves of the heart. So they are incisura apices cordis and crux of the heart. So before knowing the meaning of those terms, let us first see what are the grooves present in the heart. As you can see in this diagram, we have anterior interventricular groove and we have posterior interventricular groove which is in the back side. So what are the contents? So in the anterior interventricular groove, we have anterior interventricular artery which originates from the left coronary artery. Then we have greater cardiac vein and we have a layer of fat here. So here in the posterior part, we have posterior interventricular groove which contains posterior interventricular artery of right coronary artery, middle cardiac vein and we have similarly a layer of fat. Then we have the atrioventricular groove which runs like that. So in the right portion of the atrioventricular groove, we have the trunk of the right coronary artery. And in the left part, we have left coronary artery, circumflex artery, which is a branch of left coronary artery, termination of the great cardiac vein, and commencement of the coronary sinus. So now let's focus on our terms. So first comes the crux of the heart. The crux word in Latin means cross. So in heart, the crux of the heart will be something similar to a cross. So if we draw a diagram roughly of a heart like this and let us see the grooves here. We have intraventricular groove and intraatrial groove. So as we know the crux means a cross. So here we can see a cross. So the crux of the heart is nothing but a meeting point of the interatrial groove posterior interventricular groove and posterior part of the atrioventricular groove which is situated in the lower back side of the base of the heart. You can locate it somewhere here. So what is the clinical significance of this meeting point? So we know we have a very important artery that is nodal artery or sinoatrial nodal artery which supplies the SA node. It passes in proximity to the crux of the heart and also the right and left coronary artery passes through here or anastomosis here. Now let's focus on incisura apices cordis. Anatomy becomes much easy when you concentrate on the terms. So if you see what is incisura, incisura means a node or an indentation on a surface. Apices, the word itself means apex or an elevated part and cord is always related to heart. Cord is where we, wherever we find cordis, it's always related to heart for Latin. So, incisura apices cordis is a notch of the apex. It is also called notch of the apex, which you, which you can see in the diagram here. We have got notch of the apex. So, what is the clinical importance of incisura apices cordis? The importance of incisura apices cordis is, it gives a passage to the anterior interventricular groove which contains the anterior interventricular artery, which is a branch of left coronary artery. So this was the explanation about the crux of the heart and incisor apices cortis. If you have any question, you can comment below.